At the Society for Neuroscience Convention held here in Chicago uh, in October of uh, 2019, uh, we presented uh, what I believe is the first study showing the empirical evidence for the efficacy of the Zebel test. At DePaul University, we ran 40, a little under 40 uh, 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 volunteer student subjects uh, through this fairly large study that took place over the course of a couple of months. Um, and the way uh, the study was designed, uh, Dr. Zelinsky had a separate room, and she, using the Z-Bell, which she'd ring the bell and only the Z-Bell testing, uh, she would uh, prescribe glasses that she thought would make uh, uh, each patient, or in this case subject, uh, more comfortable in their body, I mean, in their visual spatial environment. Uh, we used temporary lenses so she could build them on the spot uh, with these lens holders. She also then created lenses uh, and glasses for them that she thought would make them uncomfortable. And then we had a third pair that were clear glass. Now the patients didn't know which was which and they were very carefully disguised. They were taken to the testing room and in the testing room uh, they went through uh, 16, 16 different cycles of wearing the glasses, ringing the bell with their eyes closed, reaching out to touch the bell and see how close they were to the bell. Now, the testers didn't know which glasses were which. Uh, the patients didn't know which glasses were which. And what we were looking for was an effect. When they were, had the correct, what we believed would be the correct glasses, were they better able to find the bell in space with their eyes closed? And with the other conditions, were they farther away from the bell, suggesting that uh, uh, with the correct glasses, we had improved the linking between their hearing uh, and their visual spatial sense coming through the retinas. Um, later, we analyzed the video, the 15 or 20 hours of video that we got from the study. And we looked uh, at 120,000 individual frames uh, overlaid uh, with, uh, that says in 120,000 pictures, <laughs> overlaid with these half inch square grids and counted how close were each, was each patient when they reached out to touch the bell? And what we found was significant results that in fact, uh, the prescriptions based on the Z-Bell through closed eyelids, when wearing these glasses through closed eyelids, helped patients uh, in finding the bell in space. So we felt very good about this, and of course there's much more we'll be able to do.